Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're doing episode 4.5 of the Ultimate Guide to Start OPTC, and in today's video, we're focusing on ships. Now, once you've sorted out your character box and you've leveled up some of your stronger or favorite characters, head over to the shipyard, and you can start leveling up your ships to make your crews much, much stronger. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the best ships to pick up from Extra Island. We're going to talk about which ships you should prioritize, as well as which ships you guys should get to level 12. With the release of the new ship upgrade, ships have become very, very powerful. Not only do they give us high attack multipliers, lots of HP, but they can also remove debuffs now with these modification buffs, which works very, very nicely. So, like I said, in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys my top three ships that I would pick up as a new player and how you should prioritize your materials when it comes to this particular part of the game. So, like I said, if you head over to your crew menu down the bottom here, you can click on Shipyard. That'll take you to all of your ships, and that way you can see what, you, what you've got going on. You'll start with the dinghy, which actually has a very, very good level 12. If you hit Upgrade, it'll bring up how much coal you have, how much super coal you have, and to get to level 12, you are going to need... A bunch of super collar. So for right now, I'm going to get my dinghy to level 9. That's not going to use any of my super collar, and it's just going to max out the ship's capabilities at a regular rate. Now, getting most of your ships to level 10 is going to get you a lot more efficiency in terms of how much damage output you can get, your HP and all that kind of stuff. And for the dinghy, you get 120 recovery, you get a HP of 1.3 times, it makes it a little bit easier to hit perfects. It's not exactly the greatest ship in the world when you have it at level 10. However, once you get it to level 12, you get a lot of other extra stuff. You get an extra turn of cooldown, you get another extra turn of cooldown if you get the modifications to level 12, plus it gets a whole bunch of extra uh, attack boosts, an extra HP buff, uh, it also gives um, easy to hit perfects, which can be very, very nice for your crew. As for some of the other ships in the game, you can pick these up from the Rayleigh's Bazaar, or you can actually get them from completing training forests. Stuff like Alkaji's Bicycle, you can pick up from doing the Pheasant Forest. Stuff like the Enel Ship, you can pick up from doing the um, Enel Forest, I guess. And then you can get stuff like Dofi's Ship, you can get the Polar Tang, you can get your hands on Blackbeard's Ship, and all these ships also have level 12 upgrades as well. However, none of them are really essential for uh, new, new players to actually level up to level 12. As for some other ships, you can actually pick them up on Extra Island for 30 gems. Ships like the Zanesha, ships like the um, Hoei, stuff like the Magello, you can use 30 gems to unlock an island that'll allow you to get some really good materials as well as these particular ships. Now, if you guys head over to Event Island and click on the top right-hand corner that says Unlockable Quests, it'll bring up a bunch of these particular ships that you can actually get your hands on. So, when you unlock the quest, you can actually do the mission, and that is going to get you guys um, not only that particular ship, but it's also going to get a bunch of items too. So, if you click here, unlock with 30 rainbow gems, we're going to unlock the catapult, which is going to give us the bullet ship, so we can unlock that. It's going to bring up a ship um, quest here, and then you can dive in. Now, depending on what you guys want from the quest, you guys can run either double buggy, or you can run double... Chop off for uh, cotton candy gains. Whichever way you want to go about it is going to be really, really nice. But like I said, as you as you dive into the quest, it's not only going to give you um, some very, very good materials, but it's also going to give you that particular ship. So let's fast forward to the end of that. Once you do choose a ship that you want to get to level 12, for example, the Grand Tesoro is a great option. You can actually modify the ship to get a bunch of HP, attack, and recovery. You can do a free mod once a day and this is going to activate an animation with frankie it's going to bring up a screen which you guys can select um to change your attack your hp and recovery stats now unfortunately with this particular stat you can only choose one of the actual stats as a group of three unfortunately it doesn't work in the sense that you can pick one of each stat and save it but Eventually, you will get your 555 roll. Eventually, it'll come around, and um, depending on how much coal you have to spend, which can be very pricey, this could be something that you want to invest in over time rather than maxing straight away. Because, like I said, the amount of coal that you need, the amount of uh, uh, belly that you need, it can be very, very costly. But which ships are worth leveling up? Which ones should you guys prioritize as a new player? 
So there are a bunch of ships that have level 12s. The first one I would recommend is the Dinghy. Um, this particular ship is very, very good for new players. You get a lot of recovery on your captains. You get a 1.65 times attack boost. Increase the chance of landing in your own slot. 1.5 times attack. And then you'll also get a lot of cooldown as well. This is great for starting players. Getting a lot of cooldown is really, really nice. And the HP is actually very, very crucial. Um, the Merry Goes, another very, very good ship. Once you get it to level 12, you get the Despair and Bind reduction for one turn. It's another really, really good option. It's getting one turn of cooldown. It's very nice as well. And then the um, Going Merry, or sorry, the Thousand Sunny is another really good option too. It gets around Bind and Attack down by one turn. And then has a special that can give you a 2.25 times attack boost, plus getting a 1.65 attack boost as well, which is very, very nice. As for every other ship, I wouldn't really level them up. All the ships you get from Forest and stuff like that, they're great to sort of get to level 10, as I spoke about earlier. But there are a couple that I would pick up from the 30 gem cost islands that are very, very good. First of all, I would definitely pick up your ho, your ho ship. Um, this particular ship is an XP based ship. And then you can actually get it to level 12 to get double pirate EXP. If you run this with Momo, if you run this with Marco teams, you're going to get a lot of EXP to level up your pirate level very, very fast. The Miguelo is another very good ship I would pick up from the 30 gem island, but I wouldn't get it to level 12. Um, the... Um, where is it? The... Grand Tesora ship is another very good ship that I would recommend most players pick up because it increases your belly drops by three times. Um, getting this to level 12 as well is very, very good. It does one turn of bind and attack down removal. Uh, and then if you have uh, all these classes, you can extend chain locks. I would do this ship over the Thousand Sunny, to be honest, especially if you're a new player, because you do want to try and get as many, um, or as much belly as possible. Because remember, leveling up these ships is very, very costly. As for everything else, the Aura Jackson's a really good ship for later down the line if you're an end game player. Um, stuff like the Revolutionary Army Birds is another really good ship for later down the line. But there is a ship called the Shark Superb, which I would highly recommend most players pick up too. If you guys want to sort of just maximize your damage for strength decks and quick teams. But that's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys, you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys out if you are deciding on what ships you guys want to pick up. Um, the ship meta is very, very strong. And maximizing what ship you actually want to get is going to help you guys out with this particular type of stuff as well. But if you did enjoy the video, belt like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later!